Daddy, they messed up my SpongeBob book. How they mess up your SpongeBob book, Jeffy? Look and see for yourself. Notice anything wrong with it? Uh, they're not underwater. No, SpongeBob has two tongues. He's got one down here and one up here licking his eyeball. He does have two tongues. That's so silly. It's not silly, mommy. This is serious business. This is a colossal fuck up. These are officially licensed by SpongeBob SquarePants. You know how many people this had to go through before it hit the shelves? Someone's getting fired today unless they can confirm that SpongeBob actually does have two tongues, and then I'll get over it. Jeffy, just calm down and read your book. No, because I'm going to call Nickelodeon and and fire somebody after I give him a piece of my mind! There's someone at the door. Hello? Hey Marvin, I need your help. What do you need help with, Goodman? You're poor, right? Yeah. Well, I need you to teach me how to be poor. Teach you how to be poor? Why? Well, I just found out that I have another kid down in Mexico or some shit, and the mom's wanting me to pay her $5 million a month in child support. I didn't know Taco Bell was that expensive. I mean, I can afford it, I just don't want to. So what I did was, is I moved all my money to an offshore bank account, and then now I have to live off the least amount of money as possible for the next few months, while the judge goes through my bank accounts, because I don't want him to see that I have a lot of money. So I need your help to teach me how to be poor. Well, I mean, I'm really busy. I don't think I can do that right now. I'll pay you $10,000. I mean, sure, yeah. I can teach you how to be poor. So rule number one, don't give people money because poor people can't afford to give people money. Well, if I don't give you money, then how am I going to get you to do what I want you to do? By being nice. Ew, poor! And uh, the, the next rule is, come here. So another thing you can do to be more poor is not drive a Lamborghini. Not drive a Lamborghini? What else am I supposed to drive? A bicycle? Ew! No, no, you don't have to drive a bicycle. You can drive a car. You just need something more poor. Hmm, more poor? I know exactly what you mean. I'm gonna go buy one. Uh, okay. <sighs> Where's Goodman at? What the? All right, Marvin, I did what you said. I bought a poor car. This is not a poor car. This is expensive. It literally has the word poor in the name. It's a Porsche. What? It's still expensive, though. Listen, Marvin, I can't go any lower than this. It's already shitty. What? It's not a shitty car. This is really nice. No, it is shitty. It's Porsche. It's poor shitty. And it's offensive because it was named after George Bush, a 911. It's a Porsche 911. <sighs> oh, okay, fine. So you're saying this is the cheapest car you'll go? Yeah, I can't do anything less than this, Marvin. It's shitty. Oh, okay, well at least it's a start. You got rid of the Lamborghini, so let's go work on some other stuff. All right. Hey baby, I need your help. What's wrong, Marvin? Well, Goodman paid us $10,000 to teach him how to be poor. Wait, he spent $10,000 to learn how to be poor? Yeah, I already told him that poor people can't hand out money. Okay, good. And I told him that poor people can't drive a Lamborghini. Okay. So what other things can we teach him to be poor? Well, poor people don't walk around everywhere in a nice suit, so you're gonna have to change your clothes. You want me to get rid of my elephant asshole suit? 75 endangered African elephants Elephants were poached for their assholes to make this suit. This suit cost me $55 million. I take a bath in it. I sleep in it. I'm not getting rid of this. Well, why don't you sell it if you need the money? Sell it? I will never sell the suit. I will be buried in this suit. Well, how about you just take it off? Because if the judge sees you walking around in a $55 million suit, he's going to make you pay child support. You're right. So what am I supposed to wear to be poor? All right, look, I'll pick out a poor outfit. Come on. All right, baby, I picked out an outfit for him. I look like old McDonald without his farm. No, I think you look nice. E-I-E-I, -E -I, no, I don't. I look like I smell bad. If a kid said, hey, Dad, does that man smell bad? He's going to say, yes. Yes, he does. Stay away from him. He's stinky. My name's Mr. Goodman, not Mr. Goodwill. Well, Goodwill's where we got this outfit from. <laughs> and it smells like the person who owned it before me shipped my pants. Well, look, it only cost $5. Well, I would pay $5 not to wear this. Well, look, when the judge sees you wearing this, he's not going to make you pay child support. Yeah, you're right. He's probably going to feel bad for me and make the woman pay me child support. Well, that's what we're going for, right? Ugh, I guess. Oh, I'm getting kind of hungry. I want a filet mignon. I think I'm going to have Chives prepare my meal. Oh, Chives! Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. All right, sir. Here is your eight ounce filet mignon cooked medium rare. Are you sure it's eight ounces? Because it looks more like seven. I can assure you that it's eight, sir. I weighed it before I cooked it. Let's see about that. Sounds like seven. Well, sir, when you cook meat, it doesn't maintain- Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not listening! Very well, sir. Chives, did you take a bite out of my carrot? It was more of a nibble, sir! What is that, Chives? A nibbled carrot, sir! You nibbled my carrot, put it back on my plate! Well, I had to make 
sure that it was cooked thoroughly. Well, next time eat the f***ing thing. Get out of here, Bugs Bunny. Yes, sir, but before I go, I must ask, why are you dressed like a farmer? Ask Marvin. Well, Goodman wants to act poor for a few months. Ha! Good luck with that! Well, Goodman, you can't eat all this. Yes, I can. I'm a growing boy. Well, no, no, I meant like poor people don't eat this kind of food. You're telling me poor people don't eat filet mignon? No. I'm gonna starve. What am I supposed to eat then? Well, look, I will go cook you a meal that poor people eat. Do not eat this because if you want to look good for the judge, do not eat food like this. Hold on. <sighs> All right, good man, I made you dinner. Are you eating your steak? No, it was a fly. There's no way a fly took that big a bite. Yes, he did. He was a big old bastard. Listen, good man, here's your ramen noodles. Instant lunch? Ew, poor, what is this? It's called ramen noodles, and it's really cheap, but it's really good. Who's ramen, and why do I have to eat his noodles? Because it's really cheap, and it's really good. Try it. And what is this? A Rice Krispie Treat? What, no, that's what the noodles looks like before you cook it. It looks like dried worms. Ew! You're trying to poison me! Help! Help, Chives! He's trying to poison me! What's going on, sir? He's trying to make me eat ramen's noodles! Well, that's what I had for lunch today, sir. Oh, no! Somebody call poison control! Chives has been poisoned! Well, it's, it's actually pretty good, sir. Oh, no! The worms must be eating your brain and making you delusional! Help! Look, Goodman, listen, everyone eats ramen noodles. It's really good. And look, you can't keep calling your butler because poor people don't have butlers. Well, if I can't call my butler, then who's going to wipe my ass? You. Ew! My hand has got to go near my ass crack. Poor! Listen, poor people wipe their own butt. So tell your butler you'll see him in a few months. <sighs> Chives, go to your room in the basement and I'll be home in a few months. Very well, sir. Marvin, 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 what's with all this screaming? He's trying to feed me worms. Ooh. Ooh, ramen? How does everyone know who ramen is in his words? I love ramen! Well, I hate being poor. I can't drive my Lamborghini. I have to dress like Ronald McDonald. I have to eat ramen's worms. And what's next? You're gonna tell me I have to wash my own clothes? Yeah. Ah! I gotta go lay down! Oh, no, no, no. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this! Come on, Goodman. You can do this. Don't call me Goodman! Call me poor! because that's what I am. Well, if you can't do this and you have to pay that woman five million a month in child support. I'm not paying her five million dollars a month. That kid's not worth it. That's a lot of money, Marvin. Well, if you don't want to pay it, then you got to learn how to be poor. <sighs> All right. I guess you're right, Marvin. Just go give me some water and let me clear my head. Uh, uh, Voss water. Sparkling, please. No, poor people don't drink sparkling Voss water. Fiji? No. Evian? No, we drink water from the sink. Ah! Like where the toilet is? Or the kitchen sink. Yeah, it's all the same shit. It's pipes in the house. Ew, poor. Listen, it's called tap water. Well, I'm tapping out. Well, listen, you got to drink stuff like that if you want to be poor. What's other stuff they can do to save money? Well, what do you spend most of your money on? Well, my haircut costs $20,000. Well, why is that haircut $20,000? Because three naked girls cut my hair while giving me pina coladas. Well, we're not doing that anymore. Your haircut should only cost $20. $20? They're going to stab me in the eye with scissors or something. That doesn't usually happen. And what else do you spend your money on? Well, I did put a $250,000 down payment to go see the Titanic in a submarine, but that guy hasn't called me back. I think he's ignoring me. Okay, look, you can't buy stupid stuff like that. And if you're going to buy stuff, you have to go cheap. Oh, so you're telling me not to take my big private jet, I gotta take my little one. No, no private jets. Poor people don't have private jets. Well, then how am I supposed to fly to Paris for lunch? You're not gonna fly to Paris for lunch, and if you have to fly, you're gonna fly cheap, like Spirit Airlines. Cheap? I'm not gonna fly cheap when I'm flying through the air. Look, it's called Spirit Airlines. It's a nice airline. Well, if I fly Spirit Airlines, I'm gonna turn into a spirit. Listen, it's just what you gotta do to be poor. Wait, my phone's ringing. It's my son Richard calling. Hello? Hey dad, me and my friends are down here in Orlando trying to rent out Disney World for the day. And they're telling me that it costs $4 million. But my credit limit's only $3 million. So can you give me the other million? Hold on Richard. My son, he's in trouble. He's down in Orlando trying to rent out Disney World for the day. And they told him that it's going to be $4 million and his credit limit's only $3 million. So do I give him the other million? No! But he'll yell at me. No, you got to tell him no, you're poor. But I don't want him to yell at me. You, who cares? You're poor now. I'll tell him no. <sighs> Fine. Richard, no. What the f***, Dad? You're down here in Orlando with my friends trying to rent out Disney World? And you're going to tell me f***ing 
fucking know what you want me to be poor? That's embarrassing. You want me to be embarrassed when I go back to school and be poor? Uh, hold on, Richard. Richard, no, you're not getting that other million dollars. I'm putting my foot down. I'm gonna increase your credit limit, okay? I love you, bye. I put my foot down, I'm not gonna give him that million dollars. See, good, you told him no, what'd he say? He said he was fine with it, that he understood. Okay, well I don't think he should have a $3 million credit limit, I think he should lower it to like $100. I agree, and I'll tell him that later. Okay, so, look, we're saving money already. Okay, so let's go teach you how to unclog a toilet. What? Marvin, good news, Chippy already clogged the toilet. That's good, so now you can learn. So look, sometimes when you're taking a poop, it gets stuck in the toilet, and you gotta push it down with a plunger. Yeah, I'm done. What? I'm just gonna pay the woman $5 million a month in child support. Why? Because I don't want to be a caveman and push my shit down the toilet with a stick. You only have to do that if it gets stuck. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm definitely done. So enjoy dressing like a farmer, enjoy eating Roman's worms, and enjoy being poor. You taught me to feel worse for poor people. So now when I see them on the side of the road, I'm just gonna drive by them faster. And enjoy the $10,000. I'm done here. So, Marvin, what are we going to do with the $10,000? I have no idea. Hey, Danny, I called Nickelodeon about this SpongeBob situation. And what did they say about the two tongues? They said one's for the pink and one's for the stink. What? Yeah, they told me that if I wanted it changed, that I'd have to pay to have it republished. So how much would that cost? $10,000. Jeffy, no.